Today, I'm going to talk about the F word in business, failure. None of us like failure, but it happens every day. It occurs in little ways and big ways. And I've certainly had some huge failures, as I know all of you are aware of. But business is about failing to succeed. Many times you fail before you get there. As you read about Thomas Edison, it said that he failed 9,999 times before he, the 10,000th time he invented the light bulb. My mom always told me as a child, quitters never win and winners never quit. So I would use the word perseverance. I like to tell a couple of stories around this. And one of them is about a young man who I was seated on a panel with three of us as a successful entrepreneurs. His name was Sean, but of course he didn't spell it right. He was telling the story that he and his partner decided to start this business and they each had saved $175,000 and they were going to launch their business on April 1st. And they did. And his wife and was very supportive. But month after month, it went on and on and there were no sales and no sales. And towards the end of the year, she said, Sean, what are we going to do? And he says, well, I ask you to give me a year. And if on April 1st, by April 1st, if we haven't had a sale, I'll quit and go back and get a job. And I'll know that I've tried to pursue my dream, but I failed. And I'm okay with it if I gave it a year. Well, January came and went. February came and went. March was almost gone. And sure enough, on the last day of March, he got his first sale. That company went on to be a huge success and is still around today. The point is he persevered. He had a goal. He worked at it every day. And what I see in so many businesses are people who quit. My company, Allegiant, was the first public company in America to sell a security after 9-11, a public security. We had a contract to buy Southside National Bank for about $140 million. Right after Labor Day, we'd gone to Chicago. We were entertained by our lead bank. They told us we had a $35 million loan. Everything was good. And then on 9-11, that morning when I was shaving and my wife said, Sean, you need to get in here, I was headed to the airport to have a road show to raise the public money of what we needed. And we watched the second plane crash into the tower. Many young men and women I knew in that tower. We did a lot of business with San Deal. It was a tough day. By the end of the day, we realized we weren't going to be selling a security at the end of the month. By Friday, our lead bank called and said, you know, we've been reading your contract and we don't think you have to close by the end of the month. So we want you to push off the closing till October 31st, till things calm down. Well, I read the contract as well many times. And I knew if I didn't close on September 28th, the last business day of September, I was subject to a $10 million penalty. More importantly, I would lose a deal we'd worked months and months on, a deal that totally changed our company. I had to get this done. My CFO worked tirelessly over the weekend, and by the end of the day Monday, had found three other banks who were willing to not give us $35 million, but give us $42 million. Not only that, when we went on the road show a week later, we sold $25 million worth of public debt instead of the 20 we were after. And the interest rate was 2% lower because one, people thought the economy was going to slow down until so rates came down, but two, because no one was out there trying to raise debt but us. The point is, we didn't let those obstacles interfere. We didn't quit and we persevered. We got the deal done and you can see what happened. That catapulted our company into a whole different atmosphere.